am Dr. Rohit Kumar, Surgical Oncologist, Manipal Group of Hospitals, Bengaluru. The month of July is dedicated as Sarcoma Awareness Month. So let us know a few things about sarcoma. What exactly is sarcoma? Sarcoma is a group of rare and heterogeneous malignant tumors. It arises from most of the soft tissues and also bone. There are mainly three types of sarcomas that is a soft tissue sarcoma, a bone sarcoma and gastrointestinal stromal tumor. Under these broad categories, you have hundreds of subtypes of sarcomas as well. Sarcomas are seen in nearly 1% of adult cancers and 15% of pediatric cancers. That is, they are seen across all the age groups. So where do these sarcomas occur? Sarcomas can occur anywhere in the body but the most common site are our hands and legs. The second most common is the trunk, what we call retroperitoneal sarcomas. So what is the etiological factors for this sarcomas? As of now, there are no specific etiological factors, but there are few predisposing factors which can cause increased risk of sarcomas. They are like familial predisposition with leaf romani syndrome, or Turcot syndrome, exposure to chemicals, especially vinyl chloride, which is involved in the manufacturing of plastics. Chronic irritation can also cause some form of sarcomas. Last but not the least, also viral infections like human herpes virus can cause Kaposi sarcoma. So how do these sarcomas present? The most common way of presenting sarcomas is in the form of a swelling. So does that mean any swelling is dangerous? No. A swelling that is usually more than 5 cm in size, painful or painless, it is gradually increasing in size, in a superficial or deeper plane, needs to be evaluated to rule out sarcomas. So what does the treatment of sarcoma compromise? The sarcoma treatment depends mainly on two things. One is the type of sarcoma, second is the stage. Type of sarcoma can be found out by doing what we call a needle biopsy through image guidance. Stage of sarcoma in a patient can be found by local imaging techniques called CT scan, MRI and whole body scanning called PET scan. Once we know the stage and type of sarcomas, then we at Manipal Comprehensive Cancer Center work together as a team in what we call as multidisciplinary tumor board to discuss about each an individual patient and make a specific specialized treatment. It includes surgical oncologist, bone specialist, bone sarcoma specialist, medical oncologist, radiation oncologist, a pathologist, last but not the least rehabilitation specialist also. Since most of the sarcomas are present in the peripheries, Rehabilitation is a very important component of sarcoma treatment. At Manipal Comprehensive Cancer Center, we start the rehabilitation not after surgery but as soon as the patient is diagnosed of sarcoma and is being planned for treatment. So what can you do or what can patients do from their part? There are two important things that you need to do. One, movement. Second is food. It is said, exercise a habit and do at least 30 minutes of movement exercise every day. Eat healthy and whole food that is good for health. So to put it in together, I'll tell you five most important points. That is, sarcoma can occur anywhere in the body. It can occur in across all the age groups. Two most important things that you need to do are exercises make it the first meal of your day at least 30 minutes and eat healthy food the medical the surgical the radiation oncologist rehabilitation team we are there at your service to treat you and make you better last but not the least the fifth point is any swelling more than 5 cm in size increasing in size superficial or deeper plane painful or painless needs to be evaluated we at Manipal Comprehensive Cancer Center are here to treat you but we always believe that healing takes place from within you. So 
we are here to take you across this journey of healing through our care cure comfort and to put your life onto path